Sometimes you need a Ted Lasso biscuit in your life. And today is the day for me. So this is what we're doing. Hello everyone and welcome back for another Monday video. It's Elizabeth, my friend Dylan, who's done a bunch of videos on my channel and also has a channel of his own. Go and check it out. Sent me an amazing article where Apple, Apple TV Plus, Apple Plus, Apple TV, the Apple streaming service, finally released an official Ted Lasso biscuit recipe. You know, there's been a lot of them floating around. Allegedly, this is the recipe. I'm gonna link it in the description. We're gonna follow it. It seems very simple, but I skimmed the things I need, of course, and we don't have the pan that they ask for because, you know, the biscuits are these like little rectangle guys, you know, they look like this, and we only have a rectangle pan and not a square pan, which is what it calls for, but I feel like a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle isn't always a square. I think, I don't know, like I feel like because a square is a rectangle, it can kind of work out. So I guess without further ado, I should get my apron on. Let's do that. Wearing black is the perfect thing to wear during a cooking video, by the way, just so you're all aware that that's like what you should wear. Also very quickly, you're gonna need a little bit of time because you have to chill the dough in the refrigerator for about half an hour. And I think the baking process takes about an hour. Let's see what we need. Two sticks of butter, three fourths cup of powdered sugar, two cups of flour, and some coarse salt. Number one, here's what's fun. You can make powdered sugar at home. So if you don't have powdered sugar, you can make powdered sugar. And we don't have enough bleach flour. We have unbleached and bleach. I don't know the difference, do you? Couldn't tell ya. We have two different kinds of flour we're using. Hopefully it doesn't make a difference. Unsalted butter, I have salted. So we'll just use a little less salt in the thing, right? I don't know. We know how it goes here at Elizabeth's baking studio. Um, the kitchen. Place two sticks of unsalted butter in the bowl of a stand mixer. I'm not using one. Or a large bowl. Perfect, that's what I want. Let's sit at room temperature until softened. I'm just gonna microwave it. I'm gonna microwave it because it takes so long to let these guys soften. They take too long to soften. How do people do competition shows? Competition baking shows specifically. I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand how you do a baking show. I would wait 20 minutes for my butter to soften. We don't have the time. We're gonna microwave it, duh. Just a little though. Wash your hands before you do this. Hope everyone's staying safe. There's, you know, a lot of bad happening in the world right now. Russia is invading Ukraine. And by Russia, I mean Putin specifically. I know so many Russians don't want this to be happening. Anyway, so sometimes you wanna make some Ted Lasso biscuits. Okay, we're gonna let it sit at room temperature. Coat an eight or nine inch square metal baking pan with more butter. Well, I'll do that later. Beat the butter on high speed with the paddle attachment until fluffy, three to five minutes. I thought with four ingredients, this was gonna be easy. They said technique. I said, I don't understand. I feel like I should use like something like this. Uh, okay, maybe I shouldn't microwave it. I'm gonna microwave it. Like for five seconds. Not even, like f seven seconds. Like 10 seconds. It's kind of softened. Just gonna beat the butter. Just beat it. Beat it. I know this isn't beating, but I just gotta like break it up right now. If you wanna do this recipe, do the recipe for sure, but don't use the same technique that I do. I want you to actually do well, or you follow me and we see if we do well together. I'm gonna do this for three to five minutes and I'll be back and hopefully it'll be fluffy. We've been beating this butter for about 10 minutes now. It's finally fluffy. So now I'm gonna add three fourths a cup of powdered sugar to this. It says to gradually add so we're gonna add a half a cup first and then on to the next step. That's done, amazing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get two cups of freaking flour and we're gonna mix the flour in and then a fourth teaspoon of coarse salt but my butter was already salted so maybe we do a little less than a fourth of a teaspoon. So I just popped the second cup of flour in here as well as the little less than a fourth of a teaspoon of coarse salt. And we're just mixing this in, but then this is gonna actually be our dough. It's very interesting texture. I'm hoping it all comes together exactly. It feels like Play-Doh a little bit. We're working through it. And then from here, put that guy in our little pan and then have that refrigerate for half an hour. Set the oven up to 300 degrees Celsius. I almost said, oh my gosh, imagine. We have to put butter on the pan. This is probably one of my favorite parts of cooking now is like rubbing the butter 
on the pan. It's like very ASMR, just getting it all over the pan to make sure nothing sticks. I don't know, I feel like I'm painting. Butter, I hardly know her. Oh, okay, I feel like this is done. I don't know if I'll have even enough to make it in half an inch thick. That's good that it says that's like the most. Oh, hell yeah. This feels like sand. This is the best thing that could come of this. This looks fairly even to me. And now we refrigerate for 30 minutes. Chilled for half an hour. It's done, but not actually. So we're gonna slice this guy a little bit. The lines are so crooked, but see now we're just going with how crooked the lines are. This is what we got, folks. We're gonna put it in the oven for 45 to 60 minutes. Here they are, folks. The biscuit. It looks pretty stunning. Here we go. This looks like the biscuit from Ted Lasso. I'm not gonna lie. It tastes like a biscuit. I think I did the task at hand. I'm just such a chocolate person. I'm gonna have one of these with my hot with a latte tomorrow morning. That's what I'm doing. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you follow the recipe, if you wanna see me cook or bake anything else, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I post a video every really on my guy. Not Friday. I'll post materialist videos. And I will see you next Monday. Boom, boom, bye.